COVID-19 and the coronavirus both in Connecticut. The state's positivity rate now just above 7% and 35 more people are in the hospital. Experts believe cases of the Omicron variant will go up quickly. Yeah, they certainly are moving fast. We have team coverage as cases increase. Roger Suzanin will have more on how much the current vaccines can protect you from the new strain. We start, though, with Aya Galil, who is live at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford. What changes are happening there? Aya, good morning. Good morning, Wendell. And adult patients will be able to have one visitor per day, but children and babies can have both their parents. This comes as health officials are keeping a very close eye on the Omicron variant. Doctors predict the Omicron variant will be the dominant strain by the end of January. The Omicron variant currently accounts for a small percentage of total COVID cases in the state. Researchers are still worried about how quickly the strain is spreading. Scientists believe the Omicron variant is more transmissible than previous variants. According to the CDC, early data suggests Omicron is doubling every two days. What that tells us is that Omicron is really good at transmitting from person to person. Um, it also tells us that it is likely to become the dominant variant um, in Connecticut and probably uh, in the United States as well um, in a relatively short period of time. And a reminder, visitors here at St. Francis Hospital will have to continue wearing their masks and also undergo a temperature screen. 